Hey ladies, how's it going? This is Donovan Green from RazorHybridFitness.com. I know a lot of you see the workouts and you're telling yourself, oh my God, that is only for guys. And I'm here to give you your own specific workout. This is what I call the tone and firm your arms like Michelle Obama. I know you want to get those arms, so I'm gonna show you some great routines that will not bulk you up. It will tone and firm and elongate your body. So when you're saying goodbye to people, you don't have that extra saggy arm saying goodbye twice. So each workout is gonna be 60 seconds. We're gonna transition from one to the next. I'm using very light weights. I'm using five pounders, and I'm also using 10 pounders. If you have those weights, use them. If you have a little lighter or heavier, feel free to get it going. So we're gonna start in two seconds. We're gonna start off with arm curls. Get my weight, and I'm gonna stand on the angle so you can see. And we're gonna basically bring it up. I want you to think about your shoulders being retracted back. You're coming up at 90 degrees. Your stomach is tight. Your chest is up. What we're gonna do as many reps as we can. Coming all the way down and back up to 90. Don't come all the way up here. Your muscles are not working there. Keep it right there. Don't forget to breathe on exertion. Exertion means when the muscles are being worked, when you're actually contracting and you're squeezing. Try to get that full range of motion. We're going for the burn, so when it begins to burn, don't be afraid. Go for it. That's the way you're going to change that body. Keep that chest up, track your shoulders, draw those abs in. Inhale through that nose. Breathe out through that mouth. Now I'm gonna turn this way, see what I'm doing. I'm gonna go in and out. Working a little bit on your rotators in your shoulders, but you're still working your biceps. I'm trying to take all the tension out of my neck. I'm trying to really retract the shoulders here. I'm trying to keep it backwards. Putting that shoulder blade in the back pocket. Every time I come out, I'm really squeezing and contracting. When I come in, I'm also contracting the chest a little bit. I'm squeezing, but there's no tension on your neck. If you're doing heavier weights and you have some lighter ones and it gets really hard, feel free to transition to lighter weights. But no matter what, don't quit, don't give up. Smile all the way through. Beginning to feel that burn already. And how many pounds is this? Only tens. Whew. All right. Breaking it down. I'm going lighter. I'm going to go to the triceps. Right now, my chest is probably at a 45 degree angle from the floor. If you want to go to a full 90, make that parallel to the ground, feel free to do that. We're going to try to take the bounce out of the body, and you're going to try to stop doing this. And I don't want you doing this. You're going to lock everything. You're gonna contract and squeeze only your triceps. That's the muscles behind the arms. Don't forget to breathe. No tension in your lower back. This is only exercise number three. What the hell did I get myself into? Woo! Results only come with hard work, right? If you're not working hard, you ain't gonna get it. Enjoying that burn is an end to this. It's only seven minutes. Okay, that's the end. All right, let's move into the next move. Same light weight. I'm gonna go on a hammer curl. Just coming up to the chest. And I'm keeping everything tight. My elbows locked to the body. My chest is up. My stomach is engaged. My navel is pulling towards the spine. I don't want you to pull your stomach in from the center. We want you to pull your abs in below the navel. That's where a lot of you have those problems, having the fat pockets. You want to target that and keep everything engaged the entire time. I always say, when it hurts, smile. There's no need to grunt. Whew. Don't forget to breathe. Focus on engaging every muscle you can find. Relax the shoulders, I'm gonna keep on telling you that. Isolate the proper muscles. Here we go, shake it off. All right, so here we go, I'm gonna do circles. 
Rotate, coming up to a V. Back up, down, and out. Down to a V. Back up, down, and out. And every time I'm doing this, taking my breaths. So now I'm hitting double trouble. Working the triceps on the out. Coming to work in the biceps here. Make sure your knees are soft the entire time. You're not locking your knees up. You have a soft bend in your knees. Put the pressure on the muscle, not in your joints. I'm telling you, only seven minutes. That's all you need. If that's all you got, and that's all you got. Make sure it's a great seven minutes. Here we go. Going out to the floor. All right. I'm gonna sit on an angle. Now I'm on an angle. My back is rounded. There's no tension on my lower back at all. So now I'm only working. Not only the biceps, I'm also working my abs. And I don't want your chest up, I want everything tucked in. I want you to pretend you're laying flat against that floor and your back's flat against that floor. If you feel any tension in your lower back, then simply lay down flat and keep that same exact movement going. If you're fine, then you get up, get back into that angle. The good news is that it's only seven minutes. There is no bad news. How we looking, guy? Beautiful. <laughs> Woo! Oh. All right, here we go. Laying it down. I want you to melt that body into that floor. Elbows up. Bring it down to that ear. Extend up. Nice and easy. Remember, your lower back is pressing to that ground, ladies. If you're a guy and you're working out with me, the same thing goes to you. As you're coming up, you wanna be soft in your elbows. Do not just drop and shake it out. Make sure you're contracting the muscles, you're moving nice and easy, you're cushioning your joints. Stabilize your neck, keep your head flat to that mat or that bench. Engage your abs the entire time. The objective is to keep on moving. When you feel that burn, you gotta yell. Yell, who cares? Ain't nobody coming to help anyway. Here we go, got 10 seconds. We're almost home, people. Five seconds. Woo, three, come on, two, and one. Beautiful. You know if we're doing all of you cannot take away those baby push-ups, right? And I'll show you an easy one. If you're struggling with push-ups, it's a great way to start it. Think about a dolphin out of water, or a seal out of water. You ain't got much to go. Try not to come all the way up. This is not an upper dog here. There's no tension on your back. It's only working your triceps. So I don't want to hear, I can't do push-ups. My grandmother could do this. She's 100, and she's dead. So you ain't got no excuse. If you want to modify, then you go to what's called a modified push-up. Your whole thighs is leaving the ground. Your elbows are still locked. In the meantime, let's keep it right here because this is just enough burn for me. According to this clock, we have 15 seconds. Woo! Focusing that burn. Oh yeah, baby. Woo! My triceps is on fire right now. If you're feeling it, then you're working. Three, two, Woo! Excellent. Thank you, guy. Let's finish it up. We're gonna go for that speed run. Speed run. I want you to get into that rhythm and I want you to run with those arms. Keep your elbows engaged the entire time. No matter what, I don't want you slowing up. I want you to maintain that same tempo you have. The way you started is the way you're going to finish. If you started off slow, then you can feel free to go faster. But if you started off strong, I want you to finish strong. If you like me doing this workout, then you're not working hard enough. Next time, go heavier. So mechanically, my knees are soft, and as you pick up speed, your body's gonna do a natural bounce. It's gonna do a natural rhythmic movement. It's gonna help you to get that weight up. Before you know it, the workout is over. You can go out there and do what you gotta do. Take care of the kids, take care of the husband, whatever you gotta do. If you're a guy, you can do the same thing. 
you know, take care of your wife. Woo! Beautiful. Woo! Wow. That was fantastic. That was a seven minute workout. Firm and tone your arms like Michelle Obama. All you needed was a simple set of dumbbells, a mat. That's it. Look at this, I'm sweating. And this is not water that got poured in me. I actually worked out one minute each move. No rest time for seven minutes. Enjoy your day. We out of here. Bye-bye.